Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming a haul. Um, I just got back from my holiday. I went to America, so I went to San Francisco, LA, and I also went to Vancouver and then spent a little bit of time in Fiji as well. Ended up buying a little bit of makeup, so I thought I'd show you guys what I got. I went in saying I wouldn't be buying too much makeup and then I went across a Morphe store and I kind of went a little bit crazy and then there's so many Sephora's so I did do a little bit of damage but it's not too too bad so I'm just gonna show you what I ended up buying my holiday um yeah so the first off I'm gonna do basically by category I want to do like MAC, Sephora and then Morphe and I think that's gonna be like the most organized way of doing this so it's like all pretty much random. So MAC category is pretty small. I just ended up let me take it away. Okay, I'm just gonna get the boring bits out of the way. Um first thing I got from MAC were the clear um makeup bags. I've already started using them. Um I used them while I was traveling, so they are a little bit dirty with makeup in it. So I ended up getting two of those. And um, I picked these up in um Canada. They were I think about down to like 16 Canadian dollars um yeah like you always just need clear bags and this one's also going to be used in my kit so when I saw these I had to grab them um the next thing I bought this is also from Canada it was this for these things I bought in a, like a it was like a makeup clearance store um really cool everything was like 40 50 percent off um I got the MAC Aladdin collection bronzer this one is so so gorgeous I love the packaging um, and this is what the bronzer looks like I remember when this collection came out I, I fell in love with it but like I was like you know $60 for bronzer is a little bit much I didn't need one but when this was on um, sale I was like no I'm just gonna pick it up gorgeous even like the outside packaging is beautiful next thing I picked up were some pigments so I just got this one this one is called rose gold um, it's just a really beautiful like, bronzy shade. It's not really too rose goldy. It's more like a bronzy shade. I'm going to use this heat during fall season weddings. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked up this pigment. Let me take this one out of the box because this one's really pretty. It looks white but it like reflects really pretty like blue. It's called Blue Glass. Um, I recently, just before I left, I went to Makeup With Jars Masterclass and she was using this on her model. And um, so when I saw this in that shop, I ended up picking it up straight away. It's, I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited to be using this. The next thing I bought was just like a little mini set. It had MAC Strobe Cream and Prep and Prime. I love my Fix Plus. Um, I go through, the, through these cra like crazy. Um, and you always like, need a little one just for traveling and just to throw in my purse sometimes as well. Um, and then with that just came a little strobe cream and again strobe cream is one of those staple items in your kit and your collection so I just picked that up the last thing from my MAC category is this little I think this must have been like a Christmas collection set it was really, really pretty like what really attracted me to it was this glitter it was actually a mirror my little sister who showed me this she's like look at this glitter it's like really pretty it's like a really unique Kind of red like it's a pinky red shade and i don't really have anything like this in the collection so i bought that and it comes with a lip gloss and then a red liquid lipstick which is a really like bright color um so i ended up getting this and the packaging was really really cute as well okay so the next few items i picked up was in san francisco so the first thing i got was in stasi Beverly hills contour kit um, this is just, everyone I think knows about this, it's just a cream contour kit. I have the powder contour kit in Anastasia as well, um, so I thought I'd pick up the cream contour kit because I don't really have many like cream kits, I have more like individual sticks and concealers and things like that that I like to use, but I was like, I'll give this one a go. So I bought that, and then I bought, and I should have had this is Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills. Eyeshadow palette, it is gorgeous. Yeah. That's what it looks like. The colours are amazing. I love the pops of colours in here. And um, when I saw this, I was like, I'll have to pick it up. Um, I know you can get it here as well, but I have some holiday. So I think it's justified. 
from Sephora I picked up these and some people call little lashes. I've been wanting to try different lashes. So cool. I always just stick to my Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. So I just picked up two of the styles, um, two of the same styles in Dreamy. And I'm really excited to give these ones a go. The next thing I picked up were the 2D Fruity um, Too Faced Liquid Eyeshadows. I got the shade Honey Please and Sweet Spot. So these are the eyeshadows. They're really, really pretty. Um, they're very like, this one's more like a gold and then this one's more like your rose goldy shades. So I'll be getting a lot of use out of these. I also bought um, some lashes for my kit. Um, so these are just the Color Bolt lashes. I picked them up from um, the pharmacy. So, and then I also grabbed these um, foaming ones as well. Um, just because I did want to try some more other styles for my kit as well. I also bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, glitter. This is really, really pretty. It's like a tealy blue color. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite things that I bought on my trip. Um, yeah, it's just really gorgeous. I didn't have anything like this in my kit, so I was like, I'll definitely, definitely grab this when I saw it. Um, it's in the shade Mystic Teal. Some skincare, so I just got these little Glam Glow masks. This is the Thirsty Mud Mask, and then this is the Gravity Mud Mask. It also came with a little um, cleanser, the Gravity Cleanser. But I'd already started using that in my shower, so it's just a, like a little mini size as well. I also picked up some brushes from Sigma, so I've got two of the F40s. I already have this brush in my kit, but I use it quite often so I just picked up um, two of those really nice brushes you can use them for blush contour um, bronzing so I just did need like it's one of my favorite brushes to use on clients so I did want some extras and then same again I just got some E25 blending brushes by Sigma I already have a couple of these love them and um, they're one of my favorite blending brushes so I picked up two of those in the rose gold shade and then the last Sigma brush is just a chisel and trim contour brush. This one is really, really thin. Um, so I just wanted something like this because I don't really have a thin brush like this. I do have a Sigma contour brush. Um, it's just a little bit thicker. Let's see if I find it. Never mind, it's just one by Morphe. But my Morphe one is a lot thicker. So I wanted something a little bit thinner. Um, so I picked that one up. The last category is the Morphe store. I kind of forgot about the Morphe store, like I didn't go in thinking about the Morphe store, but I was in a mall um, in Sacramento and then I, I saw the, the Morphe store and I kind of like screamed a little bit, I was like oh my god I can't believe I forgot about the Morphe store. Went in and I spent like almost two hours in there um, and this is the stuff I ended up picking up. These are all the lip liners and eyeliners that I ended up picking up. I bought three blacks, these were four dollars each which is really cheap. Um, I got three black ones because you always need black eyeliners. I got two navy eyeliners because navy is also quite a popular eyeliner color. Then I got two like a lighter blue and um, blues also look really really pretty on the eyes so that's why I got two of each. And the rest of them are just lip liners. I think there's, there's eight lip liners that I ended up buying all for my kit. Um, the shades are Wine Me, Zippy, Sweetheart, Guide Me, Love Bite, Makeup Talk, Foolish, Blossom and Nina. And I've got some lip products here. I've got two of the Morphe um, lipsticks in Bling and Tempt. Let me show you the shades really quickly. This is what Bling looks like. It's just a really pretty a wearable everyday like nude pink. Tempt is I think a little bit more brown than the other one. So this one's also very pretty. It's quite similar to um, Macwell. Macwell is like my all time favourite. Um, lipstick shade. Then I got Morphe, this one's called IRL. Um, it's like a lip pencil but like a fat one, like a chubby stick. I got two of these um, because I loved the, the colour so much. Um, I tried it on and it reminded me of one of the NARS um, pencils, like very similar to this. Um, but that one was a limited edition one um, and I'm really nearly out of it. So I ended up buying two of these. The other one's just my makeup bag because I've already started using it. I bought this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip, not liquid lip, just a lipstick. I've started using this already. It's just in the shade Honey. Um, it's a really pretty colour and it's a beautiful formula as well. I forgot to show you guys these. Going back onto Morphe. 
I bought some Morphe brushes. Um, they're all eye brushes because I've got enough base brushes. I obviously, I don't even think I needed any brushes, but I was in the Morphe store, so I, I had to. Um, I got two of the M421s, amazing for painting colour, um, and cut creases as well. I'll take it out of the pack and show you guys. That's what the brush looks like. Just really nice. I bought two of those. I bought an R36, which is like a highlight brush. Um, and then like a smaller like crease brush. Um, this one is the R41. Um, it's like a little bit tapered. Good for blending out um, the crease as well. And then just like a little shader brush for the lower lash line. This one is the M423. Gone through all the Morphe stuff. I've still got other stuff to go through. This is also from the Morphe store, but I just picked up some Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I got um, Blow Pony, which is like a purple, Prom Nine, which is the pink, and then Drug Lord, which is just the white liquid lipstick. You always need um, a wipe in the collection. I needed something like this just for like coloured eyeliner and um, even like creative looks. I have a lot of um, theme days and things like that. So um, I needed a white. So that one's really nice. And then I'll show you the pink. This pink is so, so cool. I have nothing like this in my collection. It's like the intensity of this pink is gorgeous. Last liquid lipstick is this purple shade, which is gorgeous as well. The last few things I bought was um, baking powder from Beauty Bakery. I really wanted to try this out when I saw it um, right in front of me. I was like, why not? Just grab it. And then the absolute last things that I bought was the P. Louise bases. I've heard amazing, amazing things about this, especially as a makeup artist. I think I needed these. Um, so I just got the shade 2, 4, and it's shade 0, and I can basically mix and customize my own colours with that and then if I want I can always just grab darker colours later on. Um, yeah, I am very very grateful that I got to buy this much stuff. It's I definitely think I did better than I thought, like I thought I... Well actually initially I thought I wouldn't be buying a lot, um, but like I guess I only bought stuff that I can't get in New Zealand or stuff that was on sale, so I think I did a pretty decent job. And a lot of the stuff is for my kit, so um, that's how I'm justifying it. But um, that's my haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I love watching hauls. It's my favourite thing to do. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!